Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number 9. And we're going up against an alliance called Marvel Relax Friendly. And we're going to take a look at their defense and formulate our attack plan. Alright, so let's spectate. And I take path 3 in sections 1 and 2. All right, so it looks like we don't have a defender on that first node there. Uh, we will have to fight this Iron Man Infinity War, who can be annoying, uh, especially with the aggression armor. That can be quite annoying. Uh, I believe I should be able to handle it with any of the champs I normally bring in. Uh, just have to remember uh, to watch that armor and uh, play accordingly, just play around it. Uh, we've got a mini Professor X, Strike Counter Fury. If you play around, his uh, falter shouldn't have too much of a problem there. Uh, I may end up fighting him with uh, Warlock, maybe, or uh, Nick Fury. All right, and down here in the middle, we still have uh, Man-Thing. They are right there waiting. And we also have a Korg. We have somebody that takes that Korg. Man-Thing, um, Black Widow can do that fight. Warlock can do that fight. Um, just have to be careful of that backup uh, recovery. Uh, we've got a Black Widow Clairvoyant here. And uh, just avoid getting a buff. And you should be good. This is the EMP modification one here. So anyone can do this fight, but you have to fight in a certain way. And then we've got Colossus. Missed you, guy. Uh, hadn't fought him there, but Black Widow Clairvoyant can take him. We've got uh, Hulk Buster. Black Widow can take him. Uh, so can Nick Fury or Warlock, since those are the guys I usually bring in. Uh, we've got Apocalypse, and I fought him there. Warlock can do that fight. Uh, I prefer not to fight him, though, if I can help it. Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it, uh, not because of him in particular, but this combat power rate. Nick Fury, he was going to go bleed immune, so Nick Fury is not the best for it. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant doesn't really have a good way to deal with the buffet and warlock would be the one to use there because he can stop the buffet uh and he doesn't rely on his uh bleed all right now we've got uh mini boss island here and we've got uh hit monkey he can be annoying bait out the special ones and you should be okay there uh i may be able to take him with black widow or um, Warlock. We've got Modok up there. And um, I'm trying to think. Don't have a great counter for him, uh, but I can do that fight probably with Black Widow Clairvoyant as well. Uh, Nick Fury can do that fight too. And we've got another Apocalypse over here. And again, that node, it would probably be Warlock that can do that. Then down here, off to the bottom right, uh, Cable, we've got Killmonger, we've got Domino. I don't normally go that path. We have someone who just brings in counters for whoever they place on those nodes. So I'm usually asked to go to the left, but I'm trying to think, Warlock might uh, be able to take that Cable uh, without too much difficulty. Black Widow, Clairvoyant. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I would probably take that fight with Warlock. Um, but Black Widow, Clairvoyant can do that fight also. Killmonger, I would try to avoid fighting him, especially on that node. Uh, that's a good placement for him. Very annoying there. Um, and then you got Domino, who, if I did have to take her, uh, it would be Warlock. No question. 
And that's provided he's in good shape there. All right. So we'll get to the fighting uh, in a moment. And I will see you guys there. All right. So here's the team I'm going in with, as I mentioned earlier. My standard team of Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. And let me tell you, before we even get started, that this did not start well. All right. So despite the fact that you saw, I scouted out my path and everything. I was not prepared for this fight right here. All right. Uh, I don't remember ever fighting an Iron Man Infinity War on this note. I may have, but I may have had a different counter for him. But quite frankly, none of the champions I brought were a great counter for Iron Man Infinity War on this note. All right, so first off, notice that he gets his uh, passive armor ups, right? Can't nullify those. Now, when he gets to four, he auto blocks, as you see. And of course, they have the parry mastery, so the auto block will parry. Now, I saw that, and I'm like, okay, I just messed up, and I miscounted. I didn't keep track of it. Um, so we're good, right? So the next time, I'm like, all right, uh, I should be good. But look at his armor ups. That is because of the node. So remember that once he has at least four, he's going to auto block and parry. I can't nullify his armor ups. So what that means at this point, as I realized, is that I'm stuck. I can cycle special threes, but I can't really attack him without a heavy. That's it. So I'm just sitting here like, oh, I don't believe this. I should have known better, you know, but I just didn't realize it. So at this point, I'm like, okay, let me try some things. Maybe uh, something will work. You know, I can't cycle my special um, two, and at this point, I'm stuck in Incinerate because I can't do a full five hit combo to switch. So I can't go to Curse of Blood. I can't fire off a, a special two. All right. Look at look at the armor ups. And so I'm doing little damage. But at least with the arm with the uh, parries and see there I messed up uh, and I'm just like, wow, what, what, what am I supposed to do here? Um, the parry and, uh, or rather my counter of his heavy with my heavy at least puts an incinerate on him. But other than that, I'm at this point thinking it's going to be my special threes. But look at how much damage my special three did. Look at this. Barely moved. Barely moved. So I am sitting here now like, okay, maybe cycling special threes is not going to get me this fight. All right, so I'm back to, you know, trying to counter the heavy with a heavy. And at least, like I said, I'm putting incinerate. I missed time there because Wait, I was looking man. up at his armors and thinking, man, they're just going to keep going up and I'm going to keep doing less and less damage. We've got almost two minutes left in this fight. And I'm like, oh, man, he is still above half health. What am I going to do? All right, so here, you know, I got to the special two and I'm just like, okay, maybe I can do that. No, 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 that don't work. Okay, at least he didn't punish it. Uh, but what I was trying to do there was maybe stun him and then hit him with the uh, special. I, I may have just mistimed it, but that was my idea. But I had knocked him back so far that I could not do a heavy followed into um, or flow into my special two because he was too far back. So that experiment failed miserably, but he didn't punish it. So we're still in the game at least. And he is of course firing off those uh, specials like crazy. All right, now something that could have worked and I didn't do it here. And I know a lot of people are gonna mention it Reparrying, and I've done it. Um, see, look at that. I can't even touch him. Can't touch him. 
So now I'm just like, wow, I'm in the corner. I had to fire that special three off just to get him off of me. Now, there is a technique of reparrying where you bank against the wall. And I need more practice. I've done it before. But I need more practice. And in Alliance War, this is not the time for me to just, you know, start doing that. Okay. And so at this point, I'm like, all right, we've got less than 30 seconds left. I'm not trying to win this fight anymore. I'm just trying to save myself a revive. I'm fighting for survival here, folks. Fighting for survival. I was not planning on this fight. And uh, like I said, one of the things I could have done, you go all the way to the left side of your screen and you evade his first attack against the wall and then you parry. It's a reparry. All right. So he won that fight, but I didn't die, even though in war it counts as if you did. But I at least saved myself a revive. I don't have to use a revive now to bring back Black Widow Clairvoyant. So you can see here, I'm sitting here stunned over this. I'm sending out messages to my alliance. I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, this is the first fight of the war, guys. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do at this point, given who I've brought in. Nick Fury wouldn't be good because he's bleeding me when he has the armor ups. Uh, Warlock may have been okay but again he can't do a parry heavy um and put the bleed because he would be bleed immune with all those armor ups all right so honestly the best option seems to be black widow clairvoyant you see how much health i took away from him in the first round so i should be able to at least get the last couple of um attack bonuses going in with Black Widow Clairvoyant, now that I know what I need to do from the beginning, maybe we can finish him off. All right, that was the thinking, that was my thoughts. And as you can see, you know, I'm boosting up again. Uh, and man, I was just so upset with myself over this fight, let me tell you. All right, so you see there, um, I boosted up. Now I had a thought, I'm trying to get him a few minutes down and quickly. I'll be right out. All right. I don't want another timeout. Okay. I didn't heal up to full, but I have a plan. Okay. So we're going in here, auto block right off the bat. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? You know, I didn't realize he was going to get those arm rubs that quickly. So that caught me by surprise. All right. So already he's above four. So I can't attack him. We've got to do the heavy uh, attack now. Okay, no way to get these off. Now, uh, if I have, if I see another Iron Man Infinity War on this node, I will bring in a better counter. Void would be a great counter for this Iron Man Infinity War. Um, Void would be good, and I'm trying to think who else would be good. Um, maybe a uh, Corvus, but because they have the Protect Global, uh, Corvus may not be, I mean, he's he's medium, so Corvus might actually be a good option for him. Uh, but Void is who I would think of bringing in for this fight, even though I run suicides, and um, I just would try not to throw too many specials with Void. All right, now, I took away a large chunk of his health because I fired off that special three, early before he got too many armor ups on and started reducing my damage to almost nothing. Okay. So at this point it's bait out heavies. Again, I could have done the reparry, but I'm not well versed practiced with that. Um, and I didn't want to risk it at this point. Okay. We're still on the first fight guys all this time. And we're still doing the first fight. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not going well. Okay, so we, we went ahead and let him do that special. And look at him, he's back to a special one again. Okay, another special. And he's back to a special one again. All right, so bait that out, another special. All right, and what do you know? He's back to a special one again. All right, and so I fired up that heavy, there you go. Boom, boom, another special one. All right. 
we were like, man, we can't get in some hits. Another special. We're just dancing here, folks. Just dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing. The night away. Got a special two out of him. All right. And see, here, I was just like, you know what? This is ridiculous. He's just cycling these specials on me. We're not going to have that. So I fired off my special three so I could do at least something. Maybe give him a reset. Maybe he can go back and, and do something different. But here we go with another special. He loved them specials. And here we go with another special. He's almost dead, folks. I have Assassin Mastery, so I should be doing more damage here. All right, there we go. He fired that off. But we got to watch that power gain. Specials for days, guys. Specials for days. All right, here we go. He got another special one. Specials for days. But we've got time. We've got, you know, 1 minute 40 seconds. All right, so we've got poison on him, which is cool. All right, it's ticking away at him. All right, and uh, we just need to keep going, keep going. And it looks like we're going to get this, guys. Looks like we're going to get it. Long fight. I chose the wrong counter for him. But we're going to get it. And down. Victory is mine. Oh, man. So I left the mic on. I didn't realize I had the mic on while I was fighting, but fortunately I'm in a quiet place and I wasn't speaking while I was fighting, except at the end, cause that was a battle guys, that was a battle. Uh, as you saw, they went ahead and cleared the mini. I was in no shape uh, to fight that mini. Uh, we've come up against here, this Black Widow Clairvoyant and uh, she has EMP modification. All right, and basically you don't want to um, use any champion that relies on a lot of buffs just don't want to do it she starts in curse of blood which means she's bleed immune which is why i did not uh go in with nick fury instead we're going in with black widow clairvoyant she just came off of a victory she feeling herself gosh she feeling herself she is all that and a bag of chips all right so we're just trying to you know see how i block that i don't want to even trigger dexterity all right, we got to Curse of Blood. Look at that health. She getting some of that health back, okay? But in this fight, because I have to block that uh, special and because it still puts something on me, it's not the best fight to get back my health. So you see here, I just went in, didn't get a whole lot of health, but I had already figured out that I wasn't gonna be getting a lot of health in this fight because every time she fired a special, it was gonna put a debuff on me and I wasn't going to be able to heal up as much as I would have liked. But we did get her down. And we are now into section two. Now, section two, uh, I again take path three. Uh, these are one of the easier paths. And we face our favorite guy, Colossus, on this node. And he's a great option for this node. I just happen to have the perfect counter for him. All right, so my Black Widow Clairvoyant putting in that work again. She coming in, she's coming in strong, guys. She's coming in smooth, coming in strong. Break it on down. All right, so we cycle to a, a Curse of Blood. All right, and so here we go. We, we want to bait out that special because we don't want to accidentally push him to a special three. All right, we want to hit him once, go right in there. Look at that health going up. I now have more health than I started with. We're making it. We're making it. He doesn't have a lot of health, though, and he has a protection up now. And so I'm just like, all right, well, he's not going to live long enough for me to get to another special two to get more health. All right. See, look at One percent. All right. Finally, finish him off. Whatever. But we've got another fight. We got another fight coming. And another chance for Black Widow to get some of that health back that was stolen from her. Stole it, man. It just wasn't right. So we've got Hulkbuster. Now, Hulkbuster has been reworked and I have to keep remembering that he's not quite the Hulkbuster that I was used to fighting, but I've gotten used to fighting him here. He still has the same animations. You do not want to get hit into your block with his special. Don't do it. It's a bad day. 
but he's pretty tanky, which is great for Black Widow. All right, so you can see here, I cycle right into Curse of Blood because my goal is not to do as much damage as I can to him, it's to get my health. I wanna get that health back. So I just went through all the cycles. All right, and here we go. Look at that health. Yummy. That's what I'm talking about. Now on that final hit, it did trigger protection, but one protection's not gonna bother us. Now I could um, intercept at this point and remove that protection. No need. If there were more than one protection, maybe. All right, so here I was trying to gauge it because I'm like, I wanna get one more special two off, but I couldn't, but that's okay. Look at her health. She made a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Been here for years. All right, so we got full attack bonuses on all the subsequent fights after that first one. And we had to heal her up a little bit, but she was able to heal up almost to full. All right, so now, as you can see over there on Mini Boss Island, they've been clearing. Um, we've got an apocalypse left over there, and we've got this apocalypse here. And I got a message saying, hey, the apocalypses are yours. Or is that apocalypse? I don't know. But I was basically told that apocalypse on this mini and apocalypse on that other mini, those are mine. That's because Warlock is a beautiful counter and my Warlock is full health. So I'm like, okay. So in this one, you have Buffet you have to deal with, all right? And so what I wanna do is I wanna get the infections up as quickly as possible. See all that regen, don't worry about it. Just keep parrying, get the infection up. All right, I messed up there in the corner, but that's okay. And we got the infection. So now he's not gonna be doing all that annoying healing. All right, so now we wanna push him back. Don't like being in the corner, okay? We've got suppression on us, all right? But I'm hoping that I can get a special two off, all right? But no. No special two, the suppression locked me down. That's the problem with this particular node. If you want to get in there and fire off your special quickly, use an advanced power boost. You start with one bar of power, then you'll be able to get to a special two, fire it off. But eventually, if the fight goes on long enough, you're not gonna be able to fire your specials. It's the nature of the node, all right? But I could have at least gotten one special two off, barely was at that special uh, and if I had played it differently, I could have gotten to a special two. But we almost did it, but we did get him down, okay? Almost got the special two, did get the apocalypse take down one shot. Now we have to face another apocalypse on this power gain node, all right? So you see there, they are chopping away on the right. Killmonger, I do not like fighting him, especially on that node. Uh, and we had that Domino who I would have taken with my Warlock as well. But, you know, um, leadership decided that I should take the Apocalypse. So, uh, no problem there. You see he has improved power gain, all that good stuff. Uh, the way to fight him with Apocalypse here, uh, with uh, Warlock, is pretty much the same way that I fought him on the other node. You wanna build up that infection that infection doesn't just stop the, um, or, or it's not just a heal blocking mechanism. It also has a power gain management effect to it. All right, so that's why Warlock is a great option for here. And you can see I'm taking this seriously. See that 200% uh, boost? Don't worry about it. You saw I was, uh, I think I was capped out on it but I'm capped out on it already. Uh, they come to the store pretty regularly and they are phenomenal for like Warlock, all right? And uh, Ghost for that matter too, uh, makes her crazy. So here we go, I'm boosted up. You notice I did not heal up, but I did boost up. Those boosts actually do help the fact that I won't have to heal. You know, it saves me those items. You know, the health potions are more expensive than, you know, these. You know, the, the health potions, I think I have to use glory. Whereas these, I can use loyalty. And I get plenty of loyalty. 
All right, so we got the infection up pretty quickly. And watch his power bar. And look at that. Special two off, and I'm almost at another special two. Parry him again. Boom. Special two again. That's what's up, right? That's the power of the power boost. Look at this. And just to add insult to injury, finish it off with another special two. Three special twos. And he was done. He was pretty much done after the second one. All right. Now, that is what I could have done to him on that other mini. But I thought it was much more uh, useful against this mini here. All right. So I've done all the fighting that I'm going to do in this particular war. Uh, let's take a little moment. We'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. This war was not a good war for us. Uh, as you saw, I gave up uh, not a death, but, you know, I gave up points on that first fight. And I believe uh, several others got into situations where they brought the wrong counter or they just uh, made some mistakes during the fight. Uh, but in the end, we just gave up too many deaths that really could have been avoided with better planning. OK, but in any case, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, especially that first fight. Who would you have brought in for that Iron Man Infinity War? Like I said, I'm thinking Void, uh, maybe Corvus could have also done uh, that fight. But I'm thinking Void for sure. But any suggestions? So in case I get to see that Iron Man Infinity War there again, I'll know I have several options. But if I don't have any other options, Void is going in. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.